You know, when President Magufuli was elected as the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, he was very clear from day number one that in order for Tanzania to realize our potential, she must use our resources for the benefit of the people of Tanzania. He realized that many sectors in Tanzania had been captured by foreigners, whether it was agriculture, whether it was the mining sector, whether it was the financial sector, whether it was the infrastructure sector, and he set out in a most energetic fashion to reverse this trend. And even in those early days, as Chinua Achebe used to say, that a chick that will grow into a cock is seen on the day that it hatches, and I believe it is also one that will grow into a hen is seen on the day that it hatches. It was quite clear to me that this was an individual who was wedded to an ideology. And I said on that occasion that if ever the spirit of Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere was evident in a Tanzanian leader, it was evident in John Joseph Pombe Magufuli. And that is what informed my coining the word, the Magulification of Africa as one of the ways in which Africa could begin to address our problems without relying on the East or the West but by looking forward and by exercising the ghost of low self-esteem, which is what has hamstrung Africa for too long. This is the time to integrate the market. This is the time to ensure that we move in the right direction. And ultimately, this is my legacy. This is the kind of thing, and it would be in honor of President Magufuli, who to a certain extent, contrary to what people say, was seen to be dithering about East Africa, but was very wedded to Sadak. Sadak in the sense that Sadak, for historical reason, I think Opondo has said this, their presence in the frontline states and their camaraderie with the people in Mozambique, in South Africa, in Zambia, in Namibia, in Botswana, and made them look to that part of the world a little more fondly as opposed to the East African region where there is a spot between Rwanda and Burundi, a spot between Rwanda and Uganda, an unstable South and South Sudan, and a, a politically confusing Kenya, and therefore you want to go into an unstable environment.